Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this transistor circuit, and in this circuit, we have been asked to find the collector voltage VC2 across this second transistor. So if you see this circuit, then here the NPN transistor is connected with the PNP transistor, and here we have been given that this VB1 is equal to VB2 is equal to 0.7 volt. Now here to find this voltage VC2, first of all we should know this collector current IC2. And to know this current, first of all we should know this base current IB2. Now we can know this current if we know the voltage at this node. Or in other words, first of all we should know the voltage VB2. So once we know this voltage VB2, then we can easily find this current IB2. And from this we can find this current IC2 and with the help of the IC2 we can easily find the voltage VC2. So first of all let us find this voltage VB2. So here we have been given that this VB1 is equal to 0.7 volt. So we can write it as this VB1 minus VE1 is equal to 0.7 volt and over here this VB1 is equal to 2.5 volt. That means VE1 or the voltage at this node is equal to VB1 minus 0.7 volt. That is equal to 2.5 volt minus 0.7 volt. That is equal to 1.8 volt. And over here, since the emitter of the both transistors are connected together, so we can say that this VE1 is equal to VE2 is equal to 1.8 volt. And here we have been given that this VEB2 is equal to 0.7 volt. That means the difference between this VE2 and the VB2 is equal to 0.7 volt. Now we already know the value of the VE2. That means this voltage VE2 is equal to 1.8 volt. So from this we can easily find this base voltage. That means VB2 is equal to this VE2 minus 0.7 volt that is equal to 1.8 volt minus 0.7 volt or it is equal to 1.1 volt. So in this way the voltage at the base of the second transistor is equal to 1.1 volt. So now if we apply the KVL in this loop then we can easily find this base current. That means this base current IB2 is equal to this VB2 minus 1 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm that is equal to 1.1 volt minus 1 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm that means IB2 is equal to 0 0.1 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm and this current IC2 is equal to beta 2 times IB2 and here this beta 2 is equal to 50 therefore this IC2 is equal to 50 times 0.1 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm or that is equal to 5 divided by 10 kilo ohm and here this voltage VC2 is equal to this IC2 times 1 kilo ohm that is equal to 5 divided by 10 kilo ohm times 1 kilo ohm or we can say that this voltage VC2 is equal to 0.5 volt. So in this way we found the collector voltage of this second transistor and from this we can say that for the given question the value of this voltage VC2 is equal to 0.5 volt.